Oxford Street, B4587, then turn right onto the inhead. See what kind of route past the MC. You know, the mobile burger vans. Oops. And it's raining. I don't know whether you've noticed, it's raining. Never mind. So we're leaving Penrith on the 686 up to Argentina. Sorry. And now, uh, I'll have to edit this bit out. We're going to Castle Bar to the Scottish border. We're on the A686 Bikers Road. Out of Penrith. You can, it's the same, uh, you can edit. I mean, I don't want to sound like I don't know where I'm going, you know. on Google Earth. It's never raining on Google Earth, have you noticed? Never? Have you ever used Google Earth? No. 
Irish at maps where you can put the person on the road. You know them trucks that go around with the big cameras on? It's it's never raining. I mean they've been out along every single road in England, possibly the world, and it's never raining. I wanna know how they know. Maybe they've got a special button. I'm on uh, windy bindies now. Not wet, not uh, uh, windy roads, but windy bindies. <laughs> oh, sheep! Ah, oh, look at them lambs, or as we call them, lunch. <laughs> They're trying to be Jeremy Clarkson or what? No, no. I can edit all this out. I'm not going to leave this in. I don't want to be like thought of as a complete numpty. The numpty does the N767. Wow. <laughs> it's a bit of a I've got some locals behind, so. There are lots of these fences around. The these stuff. are old, old brick walls. I mean, they're hundreds of years old. Yorkshire uh, brick walls. Give it to me. Okay. You had such a great weather person. We decided <laughs> to leave and but it's part of the adventure so. Somebody who likes rain. You! <laughs> 999 times. Times, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've got 100,000 views, yeah, but 999. <laughs> and those are you. <laughs> oh, it is nice. Maybe it's a village called the village. Oh yeah, it's a clock. Oh, a couple of bikers, I bet them back from the NC the 500. I don't know where we are. What's the name of the village? I have no idea. I'll have to look it up now. Are they Yeah. Alston? Maybe? It says Alston, well, 10 miles away. I'll have to put it up on the bottom of the screen when I've learnt how to do it in the editing suite. You can write at the bottom and put... I will not yeah. give you my uh, laptop every time we get to the hotel. No, I've done, I, I, I don't know how to edit it yet. You do it at home? Yeah. On the computer? Yeah. I've got to download an editing suite and you just stitch all the videos together and you can do things in it, you know, effects. I know. Beep bleeps, what sake? Come bleeding to death here. Looks at the views to the left, sweet. Yes. But you gotta keep saying, if it was sunny. <laughs> Astounding, astonishing views. I can imagine them. I've seen them on Google Earth. They're astounding. This is a biker's pass. This is. Um, uh, it's, um, uh, I'm straightening these bends now because I want to keep the gear up. Um, look, they've planted all new forests. Look, see on the uh, sat nav how uh, windy bindy it is. It's just <laughs> with astonishing views of, uh, is it North Yorkshire we're in? I think it is. Coming up to the Pennines and the Pennine Way, there will be astonishing views 
underneath that grey, horrible, wet, English crap. It's beautiful. Scottish. No, we ain't in Scotland yet. Like I said, we'll be in ah. Scotland down the going. Four seasons in one day. Where's the sun? <laughs> okay, snow, rain, hail, winds. But where's the sun? Look, look, it would have been a fan. I think there's a viewpoint here. Yeah, there's a viewpoint here. I'll just pull up into it. It would be fantastic. As it is the most interesting part is the... Uh, If I just, I think I can, I can edit that little bit out, look, fantastic view, can you wind the window down, would it go down, look, whoa, even in the mist it's, a, it's absolutely incredible, okay sweetheart, thank you, you're Was welcome, it, yeah, now we you know. have to, oh yeah, because I mean, considering it's a 12 year old car, the only thing that's wrong with it is that button won't go up. Because it's on my side. Yeah. And it will go in the sun. It works in the sun. It's mm -hmm. very temperamental. Okay then. And the dig is like you say, it's always open, so. No yeah, matter how long we take. But in the dark I should go on to the bomber roads because there's nothing to see. It's an experience to see the roads even in the, in the rain and the mist. But we've got five days in Scotland, so there's got to be a sunny day in that. Not even bothered about being sunny as long as it's clear so we can see the views. We are in a car, so... I think that was the view, better viewpoint. But basically, as look, we're on the edge of an escarpment, going along the very uh, crest of an escarpment. That's the shallow side on the right, and that's the the the, the fall down. You know, look, you will see. And now these these um, uh, vlogging cameras, they um, they don't show the steepness and the vastness of the scenery. The speaker is... Oh, it's coming up, it's um, losing its charge. And I'll pull up somewhere and put it on charge. Because I can follow the arrow, but I like, I like hearing her say, in 300 yards, stop and have a pee. Don't you think it's time for a coffee? If I was to program a, a, a sat nav voice, I'd put stuff like that in. You have been travelling for two hours without stopping. I think you should stop and have a pee. Yeah, I might just put it in and get it on charge. Because it's beginning to snow, look. Uh -huh. Well, not snow, it's sleet.
this reminds me of Richie Vida in his Africa twin going out over the cane corns. You know, as you are. Oh, I've got a couple of days to spare our fancies a little bit of a burn. I'll just go up to the... And where did he go? I think he went... I think he did go up to John O'Groats from um, the Peak District all the way up to John O'Groats in a couple of days. Over the Cairngorms in snow. I believe he was following the uh, snow blowing places. Searchable on on the Richie site. Africa Twin Adventure. Find another bindy windy. not dangerous now. It won't stick, the roads are too wet and the temperature is three degrees so it was like when we was in Wales remember if you can't see your tyre tracks behind you uh, you're uh, travelling on the ice or freezing turn round and go back or park up and uh, wait it out They're in Texas, you know. They got caught in all that snow. Uh, a mile, you will arrive at your destination. And uh, they couldn't get anywhere because the cars weren't equipped for snow. So they parked up and left the engines running to keep themselves warm. And the snow covered the exhaust pipes and they died them. Uh, um, this is your destination? That's no, it's just uh, um, on, on the way. Because when you're planning a route, you drop a pin every 10 or 15 miles or at a, a waypoint or a junction. Add stop and then when you get there, you add another stop. But every time you re reach the stop in, um, in Google Maps, it says you have reached. And then it comes up, continue your journey, and you press continue. there are lots and lots and lots of uh, navigation apps out there. Right, just like Google Earth for its intuitive learning. The other ones you've got to sit down and read the book how to, how to use them. Google Earth, it's intuitive. It's, I mean, they've got, the, they've got the most money, so they've got the biggest brains designing the apps and designing the, app, the, the way the system works. I believe this is the, up to the, the restaurant that burnt down. The big biker's meat restaurant. Here we have Hard Side Cafe. They completely demolished it. Now it burnt down, mm -hmm. so they had to completely demolish it and they're rebuilding it. But of course, all that was done the kibosh by um, the pandemic. So um, Hard Side Cafe. It's just a little mobile hut at the moment. We should have stopped and had a cup. Was it open? I don't think so. I was watching the road. Because the, the green shutters would have been open. Yeah, massive fire.
one of the bikers there used it that many times as the architect has um, designed a bench or something as a, rem a, rem a remembrance bench for a, a biker. Would you have enjoyed this if the sun was out? But you're still enjoying it now. Out to ten, how much are you enjoying it? And you're enjoying it like a five out of ten. Because it's the same as always. Um, the passenger should have the most pleasure because you can sit there and look at the scenery. Drivers have to watch the road. And make full use of the uh, viewpoints. <gasps> you can see why the riders love this. Hard side pass. It's because of the weather now. Yes. yes. And I slept for about five hours or so. And the motorway are dead, dead, boring, boring, boring. Dead, boring. Very kind of thing. On the way we are, there's a Tesco here. If they've got a toilet. A spot. You can only go on and ask. Go on and ask at the count whether there's a toilet in the town. That's a shop, so there's no toilet. But it's the station. But there's no, there's no, there's only for the staff. Maybe they'll let you, no they can't because of Covid regulations.